you charge and look at your gauges, you go, oh, superheat and subcooling, they're perfect. My charge is perfect, my coil temp's perfect, my system's perfect, it's not perfect. In reality, this system is literally riddled with problems that most technicians miss when they're just using analog gauges and charging by superheat and subcooling. After all, you guys said that if we have low airflow, then our, our superheat would be low. But what if I have low airflow, like I do over here, because I have this giant return air leak, 250 CFM of leakage. So over a third of the airflow is leaking past the evaporator coil. This is what we'll find in MeasureQuick. It tells you, hey, you got a potential return air leak or an interstride strip heat. There's my return air leak. Not so obvious by looking at charge, pressures, superheat and subcooling alone. So important that you understand these things. So important that we use technology because these are the problems that we miss when we don't.